All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 Nomad V Blade Build. And welcome to episode 19. All right, let's go. Let's start the show. Let's go live. Chat Bob, what'd you do? Remind everybody at home watching. It's a mature rated game, mature rated stream. Can't handle the awesomeness. Check out my other past let's plays here on my YouTube channel and my past broadcasts here on Twitch. All right, let's go. Let's start the show. Let's continue on. And let's get back to the action. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Oh, Judy called. Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The mocks died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. I'm sure you've thought this through, Judy. Carefully. <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is Best the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. You got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Ooh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Evelyn, Maiko... You seem to know your way around Clouds. I used to work there. Helped them out with their behavioral chip, perfecting it. Why'd you leave? Didn't like the vibe. Place reeked of exploitation. Maiko Maeda. Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. You sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her, and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around, then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. How well do you know this might go? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight, I'll be by the entrance. I'll scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. All right, let's go meet Judy in the clouds then. Picked up another iconic legendary weapon there. I know we can get, what was it, Death and Taxes in Michael's office? Mother truckers, every time I come here. Well, at least they give me free stuff and I can get that for crafting. Because that's the next one we got to be leveling up from here till we hit level, I think, 35 in my notes. We got to be leveling up tech and. Engineering, or maybe engineering, I guess. What are you doing? I'm perfectly satisfied with my appearance, thank you very much. Sir, please stop. 
Thank you, V. Boy, I was scared to my core. I thought he'd paint some mean things on me. The humiliation. Say, since we've been through so much together, I guess that makes us best friends. That calls for a discount. Thanks, Brendan. Don't worry. You deserve it. You're one tough cookie. And yet, so nice. Not to everyone. I couldn't be mean even if I wanted to. Especially to you. Can't speak ill of the dead, right? Wait, what? You're not supposed to be here. And yet, here you are. Like a glitch in the system. Or a demon coated by a brilliant netrunner. You know what demons are capable of. Right, V? How, how did you know that? Surprised? Lots of people come to me. So, I listen to them and learn how they talk. I hey, call them once or twice and piece together the puzzle. Not bad for SCSM, right? Uh, how about... We'll talk later, all right? Catch you later, Brennan. You see... Still charging me 10. You never gave me a discount. Damn, Brendan. I were pals, Brendan. I'm gonna go to the balcony above clouds. Anybody want a burrito? At least there's a chair we can wait in. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So, yeah. You could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her. Don't you think? Leave the talking to me. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. So in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. I'm ready. Let's go. Flip them, flip them switches, dial those dials. Looks like you've come this way before, more than once. <laughs> I have, on occasion. Easy as pie, yeah. 
Follow me. Death and taxes. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like to try to you. Yep, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who's very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. Don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, so you, you okay. seem more reasonable. Care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea. Think about it. It could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. All I heard is, take Katana, slice and dice. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Probably needs time to think. Couple of days, tops. Yeah, you might be right. I'll call her tomorrow. On through. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. So was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. The line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. <laughs> but still, bitch. honest or crooked, we need her. Just think, could've gone diving this morning. 
A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding. Not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head. Working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No. Me and the deck chairs, me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Well, we have time after this mission. I want to check in on Barry if I can leave the apartment. I haven't tripped on him. Get that story going. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Sure he's gonna be there. You met Michael. If that prick still works here. It's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody? Fine. Want you to do it. I don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. Let's go kill that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end them. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Maiko? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. the ground floor. We need to get out of this place. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling? It was so fucking strong. You know, revenge isn't ever really worth it. People want to believe it'll be the miracle pill for their grief. That's not how it works. to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. A minute there. Thought you were about to call it quits. V. Hell no. I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. You know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Slim to minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. 
How much ammo you'll use? How many eddies it'll get you? Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Peace out, Jude. Hopefully Barry hasn't done anything crazy yet. Remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. You don't forget a cock thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? I see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. I think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. Then you get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. I lost someone close to me, too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. It's about Andrew. He, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person well, I can spill to over. without being judged. I'm guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. <sighs> Typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Oh, right in shit. front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. Was... <sighs> A few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally. From old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. The whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. So then Andrew is more like a grandpa to you than a friend? Hmm. Didn't go that far. He was like a... I don't know. A window into the past or something. He reminded me of my gram grams About our little talks. Time when everything had its proper place. You know? 
He was the last living record of those times. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. What kind of sandals are those? Those are weird looking. Now we gotta go to the cemetery. Look at that grave, but it's gonna be for his turtle. His pet turtle. I'm a family member. Not a human friend, but a turtle. Memory, my best friend Andrew. Damn it, wake up, mouse. They can pop up. You were a tortoise, but you listened like a person. You were with me when my Grammy explained what was right. You are the last memory of a better world. Rest in peace. A tortoise? Is this some kind of joke? I don't know about you, but Barry didn't seem like the kind of pig to crack jokes. But a tortoise? <laughs> it makes no sense, Johnny. Barry said he was the only person he could spill his guts to. That not a good enough reason to buy a niche in a wall? Pay a visit from time to time? You're right. I sound like an asshole. Guy's depressed as shit. The only friends he had wouldn't listen. What the fuck else is he supposed to do? Picture this. You've got no one. Beloved Granny's been in the ground for years. Only thing she's left behind is a dumb fucking tortoise. But when Grandma told you about life, that tortoise was there. When that same life kicked you in the nads, when poor Gramps croaked, it was right there. Imagine how alone you've got to be to buy a niche for a goddamn animal. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. No, you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. He is right, stare into the abyss and this abyss will bite you back. <laughs> it's you. You talk to Barry? He finally decided to get his shit together. Well, cry out loud, Mendez. Hey, so what did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. 
It's nice to have someone like that. Barry is in a great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny? The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle Badge's life too well. He made fun of him. So he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was... a tortoise. His best friend. The memento of his grandma. Until he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. Right, because I like to bullshit badges in my spare time. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about that tortoise like it was a normal person. I just think Mendez would react if Barry admitted that he was talking to animals. Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, that he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Oh, yeah. Just talk. Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the Petrochem board, so it was out of our hands. I remember it to this day. That little kid's t shirt, green, with this funny yellow cat. I think we probably get started over here. Feed the cat. Well, let's go see if our iguana actually grew and hatch. Not still an egg. Alright. Be a good point to take a break here, relax for a bit. Let's see, let's end the stream and do what you guys do best. Hit me up with a comment down below, leave a like, don't forget to share the video. I really appreciate you. Do. Catching that replay back on my YouTube two channel, you know what to do there. Hit that sub notification button for the daily content drop. Special thanks for you guys watching live on Twitch. Don't forget to hit that follow button there as well. Catch me live every day. And once again, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. And have an amazing day.